When your sister makes noises like that, is she trying to communicate? Well, well, yeah, but that probably means she's happy or she just wants something. Does she make noises like that when she's happy? S sometimes, yeah. Well, I'm happy to be here with you, Layla. Oh, now she wants wheels on the bus. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. What's the last line? All through the town. All through the town. Oh, now she's trying to walk up to you. Thanks for coming over and being my friend. Do you want me to sing Wheels on the Bus? Is that why you came over here? <laughs> the <laughs> wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through town. If you want to make your sister smile, what do you do? Oh, uh, her favorite song is Wheels on the Bus, so yeah, that's what makes her smile. What does it mean to you when somebody <laughs> takes the time to connect with Layla in whatever way she wants to? I mean, honestly, it means everything because I, I never want her to feel left out or you know less than what what she's worth i mean like she loves everybody um and when i see people take the time to just sit with her and, and play with her you know i it melts my heart the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through town. Would you like me to sing it again? If you would like me to sing Wheels on the Bus, give me a high five! Oh, a hug, a hug is good enough. A hug is better than a high five. What's your favorite thing about Layla? Probably her mm. spirit. Mm. I mean, she mm. honestly can always cheer someone up. Like, anytime that I'm feeling mm. sad or upset, mm. all I have to do mm. is look at her, play with mm. her, and she just cuddles with me. Mm. I mean, mm. she's so mm. calming. When she makes those sounds, those vocalizations, mm. is she attempting to communicate something? Um, sometimes, yes. And then other times, like, when she's really excited or... Um, especially when it's mixed with the grinding of the teeth here, she's, uh, she's excited, mainly. How can you tell that it's excitement and not anxiety? Um, but I think by her body language, when she's nervous, she kind of shuts down and she gets like a very blank, um, like expression on her face. Um, but this is total excitement, wanting to do something, so... Well, I'm very excited to be here with you too, Layla. Say thank you. You just want wheels on the bus again, I know. <laughs> does she ask for it constantly? Yeah, anytime she does this, that's wheels on the bus. Do you like when people sing songs to her and have fun with her? Yeah, I, it, may, it makes me feel that they love her. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through town. Hey, this is such a great time spending time together. I appreciate you sitting here with me and being mm. my friend mm. and sharing a smile with me. Let me ask you, because I could sing all day just because it mm. makes her happy and that's what it's all about, but I don't want to be perceived as too excessive. Is it too excessive if I sing it a hundred times in a row? No, mm. it will never be excessive for her. <laughs> she, she could literally listen to that all day, repeat, just... Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. If somebody wants to be mm. friends with Layla, what should they do? They, well, I saw this at my class mm. at the window because mm. she, mm. she, mm. she is mm. like right next to mm. me. Mm. 
I so I usually know what's going on, but I saw one of her friends walking her and helping her out, and it's like all of them cared about her. What was it like when you saw that? I smiled. And I was happy they they were treating her with respect. What would you say is the most important thing for other people to understand about Layla? That's a good question. Um, I would say m maybe to be patient with her. Like I know when she was going to school, not at the school she's at now, but she was going to a different elementary school and there were some kids who were kind of like mm -hmm. rude mm -hmm. to her mm -hmm. or um, rude to her mm -hmm. siblings mm -hmm. or making like funny or, you know, what they think was funny comments about her. And, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I. Mm -hmm. I feel like patience and understanding is probably the most important. Mm -hmm. How would you describe the impact those type of mm -hmm. comments have on your family? Oh, it definitely impacts. I mean, my oldest daughter, she came home. I mean, mm -hmm. she was crying. She was upset. She didn't understand why kids would make comments like that because she's always been around Layla. I mean, ever since she was, mm -hmm. you know, three years old. So she didn't understand why people mm. would, mm. you know, mm. say things mm. like that. What do you hope other people know about your sister? That she's special to me. Mm. 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 You want more? Mm. Mm. Can I ask you and Dale's mm. questions? Mm. And then I'll sing mm. to you some more? Mm. 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 <laughs> Here, why don't I come and sit beside you and I can, we can mm. do an interview mm. all three of us. Mm. That's cool. Mm. Mm. Here, let's all sit together. Hmm. Layla. Hey, Nanu. I'm so glad you want to be my friend and you want to be around me. Hi, Mama. What is it like to be Layla's stepdad? It's honestly, it's amazing. Like, it's, it's a blessing. What are Layla's diagnoses? So she has a deletion of the BPTF gene and the NFIX gene, as well as Malin syndrome and um glycogen storage or yeah glycogen storage disorder so she is the only person that is known to have the two deletions that she has because it's really weird the bptf gene causes like totally different symptoms than the nfix gene so like one causes usually like a smaller head and the other causes a larger head but she has you know, I guess she's like kind of in the middle of both. It's it's very interesting. But you have people that look and walk in the store, give nasty looks or things like that, and that but it bothers me. Like she deserves the same as everybody else, if not more, because she's tougher and harder than we are. You know what I mean? That happens sometimes. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I get a little angry about it because it's wrong. Like, why would you treat her any different? She's not in your way. She's just a normal little kid. She just can't talk the same. She still has feelings. She's one of the sweetest people I've ever met. She is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah mm. So you met, oh, excuse us for just a second. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through town. You met Layla when she was six. What did you do to form a bond? Honestly, her and I just took it, like, off rip, we became best friends, and she just took right to me, and I had a thing for her, and she's just been my little buddy. What? 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 I love you. Oh. Another kiss? Mm -hmm. You're so sweet. Yes, you are. How would you describe the connection you two have? <sighs> Unbreakable. <laughs> and one of a kind i mean i I've, she's anytime that i'm around she's like on top of me following me um she's my what are you looking for this she's my little shadow and i love it one time she came, she tried to came came in my class and and then it's because she saw me and then um her teacher um just walked walked her back so she mm. she was so mm. happy to see me though but mm. that that was mm. a few months ago when she did it so she saw you and ran into the class mm. 
<laughs> yeah, and, and then everybody was looking and like, what's she doing here? And then her, and then her teacher, uh, hold her hand and walked away. And how did you feel when Layla tried <laughs> to come and say hi to you? I feel happy that she's she's happy. She she. She makes me happy when she's happy. She seems incredibly social too. Oh, she is. She is a little social butterfly. Mm. 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 Huh? Mm. Hi. Mm. Mm. Nanu. <laughs> is Nanu your nickname for her? Mm. That's actually, I adopted it from her mom. Her mom's called her Nanu, that's her little thing. Mm. And just since we bonded like that, I'll say it to her and she'll perk up usually. And it's wonderful, like her smiles. <laughs> The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through town. <laughs> Do you two have a lot of inside jokes? Um, probably because one time she was playing a game on Dad. Well, I'll tell you the whole story. So one time, uh, our dad was trying to feed Layla, and then one time she started to laugh because she thought it was a game, so she wouldn't eat. And it was one of, and it was uh, her favorite food. She, my grandma tried to give her a banana, and then she still wouldn't eat because she thought it was a game. And then my dad was like so done, so he tried to make her, uh, her jealous, but Layla, it, but it wouldn't work. <laughs> And then I was like, oh! What's your favorite thing about having Leela as a sister? That she's kind of funny sometimes. Does she make you laugh a lot? Yes, especially that when she was playing a game on Dad. That's my favorite part. Will you and your sister be close <laughs> when you're adults? Definitely. What do you think your relationship will be like? Like as friends, like really good friends, and just like I have my other friend at school, we we play Roblox every day. But now his tablet broke. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Now fast, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through town. Do you want, do you want me to do it fast? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through town. It's getting, it's getting fast up in here. You're doing so good in this interview. And I'm having so much fun getting to know you. Thank you for that hug. That was really sweet. I'm really glad we're friends. That was a really nice way to let me know that we're friends. I noticed that in between me singing to her, she would lean in for a hug. Is that her way of saying thank you? And that's her way of just saying like she loves you or she likes you. Like she, she loves giving hugs and kisses. Or if she wants a kiss, she'll do this to kiss her forehead. So she'll do that to a bunch of people too. It'll look like she's trying to headbutt you. <laughs> Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yeah. Why are you so excited? What is all this stuff, huh? Are you excited? Yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness. Does she generally get excited when she meets new people? Mm. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> you wanna dance? You wanna dance? Yay! <laughs> Are you proud to be Layla's mom? Oh yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. I she has completely changed my life. Isn't that right? What? What? Oh, you see him? I know. He was on the bus all the time, all the days. Is it nice to have something that you know you can always go to to make her happy? Oh, yeah. I'm having so much fun singing songs with you. I'm so happy we're friends that we're singing together. And you tell me more, you get more wheels on the bus.
The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The... Am I doing it too fast? Okay, I got, I got to slow down. I'm getting carried away. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through town. <laughs> This is fun. Do you want more wheels on the bus? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through town. <laughs> Can I ask you a question and then I'll sing another one? Mm. Just one, one question and then I'll, I'll sing again, don't worry. The question, mm. are we friends? Mm. Are we friends? Mm. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through town. I'm so happy right now. Layla. <laughs> How can you tell that she's happy? Her body language and her facial expressions, and she'll do her little fingers like that. It's, she's letting you know when she's sad. Honestly, she cries so quiet you won't even notice unless you're paying attention to her. I feel like hearing her cry must be heartbreaking. It is. It's honestly really bad. But she rarely does it. Yes. What was it like from the grandparent perspective when Layla was first born and mom realized that there was something happening? It was hard. Yeah. It was a while. Like Hannah knew, like very early on. Like she kept saying, mm. and it wasn't obvious to anyone else. It was hard to notice, even when you're looking for it, because she would mm. be so sure. And by the time she was one, it was you could just tell. Like the shape of her head was a little different, and she just wasn't reaching milestones that other kids might be reaching. Were Layla's diagnoses provided initially, or was it a long process? Oh my goodness, it was a very long process. Um, when I first, when I, after I had her and I was still in the hospital, I knew that something wasn't quite right. And I had to fight for about a year before any doctor would listen to me or take like it seriously when I would tell them, you know, she's not doing what an average baby would be doing as far as like the milestones and the smiling and interacting. Um, and finally, I had a doctor send me to um, specialists, and we didn't find out her diagnosis as far as the gene deletions until she was about three years old. And then um, we only got the Malin syndrome um, diagnosis like three years ago, I believe, and then the glycogen storage disorder two years ago. So it's been a very long process. Mom is very much in tune with her. She just seems to have a mental telepathy with her. She knows exactly what she needs almost all the time. It's kind of amazing. What is it like to have a kid who has a set of disorders no one else on earth has been found to have? When, when they told me that, honestly, it's scary because even the geneticist can't answer questions as far as, you know, they don't know how it's going to affect her. They don't know that really they couldn't tell me anything. Is there a lot that you just kind of finding out as you go when you deal with a situation like this? Yeah, um, pretty much, yeah. I mean, it, and she goes to her specialist once a year and the, gene the geneticist did say, you know, like if they find out anything new or, you know, they'll contact us, but it's pretty much like, okay, so it's like a, I don't want to say waiting game, but yeah, it's anything new could arise. Stop grinding your teeth, baby. Stop. Does she grind them often? Yes, all the time. It it got it's actually to the point where she broke a tooth in the back and she has to get it removed now because she's constantly grinding her teeth. 
Do you know why she does it? Is it self-soothing? Um, it's actually a part mm. of um, one of her gene mm. deletions. So mm. it, it just causes mm. that. And I don't know if it's... I've noticed that she does it when she's excited. So I don't know um, if it's something that she can't help or if it's something that she just likes to do. I think about um, a lot of times <clears throat> I wonder what her adulthood you know, will be like um, because she has such unique genetic mutations and like there's really no way to know what her lifespan might be and I don't sit and try to dwell on how long she's going to live but I do worry like you know what her teenage years will be like or as she starts to develop as a as a woman and other things like how will how do they perceive that kind of stuff you know mm. I worry about that mm. kind of stuff like mm. how she'll handle mm. that mm. I'm sure there's mm. a point to where it's useful to put thought into that but is there also a point to where it's no longer useful oh yeah I mean I don't dwell on it but mm. it does come mm. up like mm. in my mind sometimes mm. I just mm. I just mm. want their lives mm. to be easier you know mm. or as easy as they can be you know? mm. how parent. do you balance that though mm. how like do you realize okay this is no longer productive to put it's my not, mind this way I just realized like he taught me a saying so many years ago it is what it is like you just accept you know, it, we'll just roll with it, whatever it is, and do the best we can as a family to we help her through it. We also live by another rule that just do the next right thing. Yeah. You know, that's all you can do. And accept them for who they are. They're all different. <laughs> How many signs does Lila know? Um, so she knows more, all done. She knows please. Um, and when she's like thirsty or hungry, pretty much what she does is she just takes you by the hand and walks you like where she wants to go and she'll let you know. What's it like having a sister? Uh, kind of annoying sometimes because I'm the only brother. And now I have three sisters, the only brother. I hate it. But it's so good. What's the toughest thing about being the only brother? I have to protect them. How do you protect your sisters? Mm. Mm. By keeping mm. them safe. Mm. Mm. That was an easy one. Mm. 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 Just like my easy mouth work. Oh, it's so mm. easy. Mm. Would you mm. say there's more differences or similarities when you're mm. parenting a child like mm. Layla compared to her siblings? Mm. I mean, the only difference is you have to see she communicates different, but it's not like mm. she's any harder mm. or mm. easier. Mm. It's mm. just mm. the difference. It's mm. just a different mm. way of learning mm. what she wants. But she's actually, mm. I want to say mm. easier because she's mm. just so happy mm. all the time. Mm. Not to say that the other kids are, you know, upset mm. more or anything like that, but mm. she's just mm. happy. The simplest things will make her happy. Just showing her love and attention. Mm. I'm having such a fun time with you. A really good time with you. Mm. I really enjoy singing songs with you. I love that you tell me how to be mm. your friend. Mm. The wheels on the bus go round and round, mm. round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through town. Would you like to do it with me? The wheels on the bus go round and round. Mm. Round and round, mm. round and round, mm. the wheels on the bus mm. go round mm. and round, all through town. The wheels on the bus go... You have to sing it with me. The wheels on the bus go... Round and round, mm. round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go... All through town. The wheels on the bus... Your turn, go. She loves patty cake as much as she likes wheels on the bus, contrary to popular belief. But she does like patty cake. So, um, yeah, it's just a, it's a blessing. I feel like you really want people to know about her love of patty cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's, a, it's a jam, you know? It's a, so, uh, She's not a one-hit wonder. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. You know, She's so. more diverse. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! What would you say is the most important thing for other people to understand about Layla? She has feelings too, and just because she can't tell you that she's unhappy or that she wants, you know, attention or 
you know, isn't wanting to do the same thing as everybody else, that she should just be ignored because she can't cry and complain about it like everybody else. She should be valued just as much. Do you think that's part of the reason she loves um, Wheels on the Bus? It's kind of like a way for her to connect with people and for them to express, hey, I accept you, and then her to say, I accept you too. Yeah, it's, it's like a mutual thing of, okay, we're doing the same thing together. We're, we're being happy. You're listening to me right because this is something I enjoy. And it's showing her that like she's recognized because she definitely loves attention, not in an egotistical way, but just she's a little girl. You know what I mean? She's a little kid. Every child deserves attention and growth. It's part of them. Well, she knows that she has great, a great brother and a great sister and a great mom and a great yeah. stepdad. And she's very loved. Know, she's very loved. Yeah. Do you think that's why it's easy for her to be happy? I think mm. so. I think, so. I think she can yeah. just tell. Layla, do you love your brother? Yes, I do. Do you know she does? Yes. How do you know? Because she plays with me often. How old is Layla? Seven. How has she changed as she's grown into a seven-year-old? Oh my goodness. Um, she's Before, she couldn't even walk. And this past year, she's just been blossoming. Like, she's even trying to count to ten. And, you know, at her in her classes she's not scared to go down slides anymore which is crazy because before she was kind of scared to venture into anything like that um she's just she's she's blossoming into a beautiful little girl to see my children have children and how they interact with them and what they've learned you know you know no, the, the thing that i'm the most proud about mm. all my kids is they're all kind. Mm. And I think if that's the blessing yeah. that we get from um, being parents, I think that that's, I can, I can go out on that. <laughs> Is there anything else you want others to know about your daughter? Um, <laughs> that she's <laughs> the most happiest, <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> specialist girl in the world. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Does she just become best friends with somebody after they sing Wheels on the Bus? Oh yeah. Yeah, she's trying to get you to walk with her now. Thank you for coming over and grabbing my hand. <laughs> I'm so glad we're friends. Is Wheels on the Bus your favorite thing to do? Thank you for a hug. That's a really nice way to tell me that we're friends. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through town. Thank you so much for sitting here and being my friend. I've had such a great time with you today. It's so much fun being your friend. Would you like to sing it one more time? Let's do it. Here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through town. I had such a great time with you today.